Hello Rust developers and welcome to the Rust question and answer. If you want to learn anything about Rust, this is your channel. Rust navigation, Rust with drones, Rust for autonomous cars, anything Rust is here. Learn Rust step by step and push your Rust learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Marco Arruda and today we are going to answer the question of this user in the forum Rust sensors. We are going to see how to solve the problem. Uh, basically he is trying to use the Pioneer P3DX simulation in Gazebo and after releasing the key he is uh, controlling the robot using the teleop keyboard twist and after releasing the keyboard the robot's not stopping actually this is a very common problem uh, there are some ways of going around it but today I'm gonna show how another tool you can use to solve the problem to actually to not have this problem in your robot okay but before anything else remember to visit our Roboting Net Academy, our online academy where you're going to find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation is required. You'll find a link to the academy on the video description. Now let's start with the question. So in order to show how to solve the problem, I'm going to use RDS, ROS Development Studio. If you don't have an account yet, you can create one just following the link in the description of this video. So first thing here, I have reproduced the problem of the, the user because he posted the link of the repository he's using, the simulation he's using. So I have it working here. I have a project. You can open this the same project, the same project in your own workspace of RustDS, just clicking on the link at the description. Okay. So let's open it. And there it is. So Let's have the ID open. Let's launch the simulation. So we have P3DX Gazebo, Gazebo launch. Let's open it. I have modified some stuff on the simulation. Basically, I'm using just an empty word instead of using the word of the user. Okay, so I have just removed this part of the code. And where we can see the robot in an empty word. Okay, here it is. There's a just a, a small problem with the materials, but it's okay. The robot's working. Let's have the terminal open here. And now, Rust run. Teleop twist keyboard. And we have command velocity equals to slash p3dx command velocity okay you can check the topics let's open another terminal and we can check there so let's try for example let's try first verify the topics so we have here p3dx command velocity this is wrong we have p3dx okay And now let's listen to this topic. So Rostop Echo, P3DX, Command Velocity. As you can see, we have no message. Now I'm gonna press a single key in my keyboard. I'm pressing it. You can see in the background a lot of message coming. Now I'm gonna release it. So we don't have any more messages anymore, okay? And the robot is still moving. So that's exactly the problem the user has described and this is exactly what we're going to try to fix. Okay, so let's stop it. Stop the keyboard, the teleop keyboard. And let's start checking the description of the robot. Okay, so in order to solve that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to disable the plugin of the gazebo plugin the user is using to control the robot. So we have a file here, Pioneer Gazebo. And this plugin is, is being included there. So we have the differential drive controller. We're not going to use it anymore. I'm going to show why. Okay. Basically, because we have a controller, we can just spawn a controller in gazebo. And that's the package I'm going to use, diff drive controller. It's very look like to another, to the other one. 
but actually it's quite different and also it allow us to customize for example we can add this parameter here command velocity timeout uh, which is basically uh, a, a interval of time where you can specify okay you can specify this timeout here and after this time if no commands arrive to the robot the robot stops okay so zero speed command will be sent to the wheels basically that's it that's why we are changing to this another controller because this one allow us to customize at this point at the point the user wants to okay so let's get back here so we are not using anymore this plugin okay that's the first modification after that you can check also in the repository I have created so basically I have cloned create a copy of the original repository and made my modifications here okay so you can check exactly what I've done to change the the behavior of the robot okay so first thing here we're not using anymore this plugin uh, and another important thing this is just a adjustment for the robot model it doesn't matter okay now in the transmission of the robot we have to change so we have in the wheel chakra file we gotta change the hardware interface we're not use we're not gonna use anymore the E4 joint interface we're gonna use velocity joint interface so let's get back to this file we have wheels and we have hardware interface instead of E4 joint interface we're gonna use velocity interface okay we can remove from the actuator it's not needed so we have only in the joint tag okay the next modification uh, okay the launch file is a big one so let's start from this config file here because this is mandatory for this plugin okay so we have an example here about the parameters you have to use so that's the minimal description and the complete description you can use for your application and let's create our own file so I'm gonna create inside this control file I'm gonna call it control jump file and that's what I'm using so let's open the file here what we have I'm gonna copy and paste uh, basically we are defining two controllers here a joint publisher just a joint state publisher and a velocity controller okay both are gonna be spawned uh, from the launch file so we have the diff differential drive controller being spawned we are defining the name of the joints the left of the left wheel and right wheel uh, the rate of the messages are being published covariance okay this is just a standard some standard values I took from the example uh, finally the command velocity timeout which is the important thing here for this example what we it's important for us for the user's question wheel separation wheel radius I took the same values from uh, the one the user has defined it here okay now it has to be defined in the config file okay and finally let's get back to the launch file what do we have to do here it is let's check the file let's copy and paste here placebo launch basically what we are doing I have created this group here because we have to add this namespace to the controllers so we have p3dx the same namespace of the robot model we are spawning the robot describing the robot from the chakra file then we are spawning it okay using the name of the model uh, we have to load the parameters of the controllers so respiron command load and we are pointing to the file we have just created control yum file and finally a new node to spawn the controllers okay 
base control responder I'm calling it you can call it whatever you prefer uh, the package is control manager and the type the name of the script is spawner okay and you have to define here the namespace I know you are defining here already but they have to match okay so the namespace it has they have to be the same name and then the name of the controllers p3dx joint publisher and p3dx velocity controller remember this the same names are being defined here in this control configuration file and finally just a standard value for shutdown, shutdown timeout and output to the screen in case you have any problems trying to launch the controller okay so now we have saved everything let's try to relaunch the simulation and let's wait a few seconds You can check in the logs now we have some new messages uh, and they are about the controller that is being loaded okay let's minimize it and there it is simulation is ready so let's try the same test again uh, rostop list i'm gonna do this rostop echo so uh, now we are using the a different controller so we have also a different topic name but it, this is just the name of the topic the behavior is the same so we have p3dx p3dx velocity controller command velocity let's listen to this topic now i'm gonna publish to this topic let's change the name here p3dx velocity controller there it is I'm gonna press a single key I'm gonna hold a single key okay let me try to, to launch it again let me check if the name of the top mat is matching p3dx okay we have a typo here let's fix it there it is I'm gonna hold a single key and as you can see there are a lot of messages coming okay now I'm gonna release the key so we don't have any more messages and the robot has just stopped exactly the way the user wanted okay so let's just make a, another test here we can change for example the timeout so command velocity timeout I'm gonna put to five seconds let's say so we can see that it's really working it's not just stopping because I have released the key but also it's respecting the timeout we have defined it in the control file okay so let's relaunch the simulation if you have tried one of the robots of ROSDS for example Husky robot you may have notes already that Husky doesn't have this problem this behavior problem actually a problem for the user which is after releasing the key Husky stops okay that's because it's one of the robot that uses this package okay so you can you can check other examples here so let's get back to ROSDS and here we have the simulation so let's clean this screen keep listening to the topic let's publish again we have to restart because we have restarted the simulation so I'm gonna press just once the key just a single message and the robots gonna move for more five seconds okay even after I have released the key okay so that's all for, for today in the description of the video you'll find a complete course about ROS basic where where it's gonna be it's gonna help you to understand about ROS topics and all the resources mentioned in the video did you like the video if you did please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell to receive a new video every day either you like it or not please share your thoughts and questions in the comments area see you